When working with requests inside of HelpSpot, you'll notice that every request is assigned a category. Now, categories are the main way of organizing requests inside of HelpSpot. So depending on your organization, you may choose to create categories in a number of different ways. For example, you might create categories based on different departments in your organization, such as uh, human resources and maintenance that I have here in my example. Or you might choose to create categories around a problem type, like is it a server problem or is it a software problem? To manage your categories, you can go to the admin area and then choose categories. Now all of your current categories will be displayed in this top area right here. You can choose to edit any of these categories at any time simply by clicking on the category title. We can also choose to add a new category by using the form below. Let's go ahead and add a category and we'll walk through a few of the settings. So first of all, I'm going to be asked for a category name. In this case, let's say we're adding a category for a new department. So I'm going to add a new category called call center. Now this category is going to be for my call center. I could choose to place this category inside of a grouping. And a grouping is just going to be a logical group of categories that will be displayed together in the user interface. These set of sales categories are an example of using a category grouping. Next, I can choose whether I want the category to be public or private. A public category will be displayed on the public web portal when a user is filling out the request form. A private category is only going to be available to staff inside of the admin area. Next, I can select the category staff members. Now, the category staff members are those staff that are going to be able to be assigned requests that are categorized with this category. So in this case, it would make sense for me to choose any staff members that are in my call center. Now that I've chosen my category staff members, I can go ahead and select a default staff contact if I wish. It's currently set to inbox, but I can also choose one of my staff members that I've selected up above. The default staff contact is gonna be the, the person that is assigned a new request that comes into this category. Now this works in conjunction with the auto assignment of requests. So if I were to choose Catherine here and then choose to auto assign requests to the default contact, any request that came into this category would now be assigned to Catherine. Now I also have other auto assignment types that I can select. For example, I can do a round robin that will assign requests to each individual who is a category staff member. And I can also do a weighted assignment based on who has the least number of requests in this category. Down below here, I have some more advanced settings around reporting tags and custom fields that we'll cover in another video. To go ahead and add this category, I'm simply going to click on Add Category. And now my category has been added and it is available in the user interface. Now, if I ever want to go and edit a category or remove a category, I can go ahead and just click on the category. And all of my same settings will be here for me to adjust. Or I can also scroll to the bottom and choose to make the category inactive.